All right, y'all, so y'all see what I'm out here doing, man, in Cape Town. That's why we're in this little spot called Bo Cap or Bo Cap Op. Colorful houses over here in Cape Town. Yeah, I think that's enough. Yeah. I don't think there's people staying here. I just see somebody going to that apartment right over there. Oh. Yeah. If folks ever see my pictures anywhere, just know I don't know if these rainbows represent those communities, but I don't stand for them, them, them things, man. You know, it's a little cool place to go in Cape Town. It's called Boca Op. And that's why we're here. Not because I'm for the rainbow communities. I am straight, hetero, better row, and that's what it is. So, but there is a historical reason that it's like this, why there's like all these rainbow colors. And you'll see that as you guys go through these streets and all this stuff, you'll notice the reason that it's like that is because of some historical background. So we might try to plug that in the vid. All right, y'all, we made it to Mocha Museum. It's really called the Zeets Mocha. They put the Zeets in small letters. Don't be ashamed to be German. High some power. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> like those... I know, like, uh, Dune. They have a yeah. movie called Dune. Mm. Oh yeah, this is nice. Take us. Damn, we're, damn, we going to heaven or something? Where? Oh shit! It looks like we don't pay for first class tickets to heaven, man. We don't know where we going. Listen, man, I, I really be into this thing on something powerful. This queen just said, y'all, who going to give us our land? So this whole thing right here is about a beautiful South African woman. She's talking about, you know, Psalms. So she's talking her own songs. What comes up to her mind? And you heard her right now. She just said divide and conquer, y'all. So. Hmm. She preaching for real. This one of my favorites. This one and the Nigerian one on Ogun, the king of uh, warriors. This is one of my favorite uh, exhibits so far, y'all. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this place. I didn't know it was an African museum. I thought it was German, but it's beautiful. I'm, I'm really enjoying learning. All right, folks, this is a whole nother part of the exhibit. Now, some of this stuff, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really feeling it like that. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Food not the only thing on the menu in this farmer's market. Yeah, we at, we at K Town Farmer's Market, man, trying something new for real. I've been I've been supposed to try these for years. I've been to so many countries, and this is the one thing I never get. And it seems like we're not even in Africa at this point, boy. Come on. All right, y'all, we stuck in a Ferris wheel right now, y'all, overlooking Cape Town, you know, and uh, yeah, man, we... <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, man, we stuck in a Ferris wheel, but look at these beautiful views, y'all, you know, beautiful views. We about to try some food that we've never tried, so... You know, we got baklava, she got a samosa as well, and some other little stuff that we just got from this farmer's marketplace. So yeah, man, go ahead and check out these spectacular views all around us, man. We got that 360 panoramic for y'all, you know, so uh, let's go ahead and try this baklava real quick. I've been to a lot of countries, y'all. I've always seen this thing called baklava. It's like a Middle Eastern pistachio Danish looking snack. So first thing. You know what? It tastes good when you first eat it because of sweetness, but then after it hits you with the nutty flavor and 
unless you're a person that's big into eating nuts, pause, and you don't like it. You it's know. Too sweet for me. Too sweet? You like the nutty flavor? Oh, okay. Now, uh, now this one right here, I got some type of pear cake, y'all, so I'm gonna try that on camera real quick. It's pear cake. That's real, I don't know what that is, that's what you got. I think it's just like a butter cake or something. Now the pear cake is all right. Okay, I'm gonna try it on camera, all right. Okay, it's just by me now. He's actually it's, decent. Yeah, it's alright. So this stuff at Farmer's Market, y'all, apparently they didn't put no sugar in this stuff. Something else they say they don't use is dairy products, which is really good. Because um, dairy causes a lot of uh, inflammation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, then, uh, yeah. I think they try to use like some pretty wholesome ingredients, so this is why a lot of people like Farmer's Market. Did oh. you know that? Or No, I didn't know that. Yeah, Farmer's Market is big in America too. Oh. They have those as well. But anyways, y'all, this ain't a, a damn uh, biology lesson, man. Listen, we over here in Cape Town, beautiful views right here. We about to enjoy this and then eat our little snacks. Man, if you if y'all about to do this, this is uh, called the Cape Wheel. Um, it's about 300 Rand per person, so that's about 25 USD, something like that. Um, no, no. That's about 35 USD, y'all. Uh, to me, I don't know. A little overpriced them for my liking, but hey, you know, it's still a decent little spot yacht. And, um, you know, you can actually end up paying uh, 25 USD if you don't get this table. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So, uh, it's 20 minute ride. Um, they also have a 10 minute ride too, which could be less as well. But yeah, yeah, we about to enjoy this, man. Holla! Yeah, all right. We at the mall now, Cape Town Mall. Called, uh, damn, we didn't even get the name of this place. We about to do an interesting pop the balloon challenge, all right? The question of today is, can men and women be friends? If you don't believe men and women can be friends, then pop your balloon. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Call up one friend that you have that is male. Hi, Tony, how are you? What is it that an African man has to do to keep you over a white man? How would you control a woman, per se? Manipulation. Manipulation? Yeah. So you would manipulate women? Yeah, I would. So if you was a man for one day, you would manipulate women? Hey, hey you're the... What else besides money do y'all value in 2024? Why do y'all ladies deserve to go on dates? Get you some money, then travel for the <laughs>